Hello students of standard third. How are you all? I hope you all are well at home and enjoying your studies. Let's begin an online session of English. Myself, Renuka Sashivar, your English teacher. Day Mall Public School. Sita Songi welcomes you all in E-class. Our today's topic is I speak, I say, I talk. Today we will start with English Reader Unit 1 Animal World in which we will study the poem I speak, I say, I talk part 2. This poem is part 1 already we have learned in our previous lesson. So let's start today's lesson. But before introducing poem let us visualize the pictures of animals given in this slide have you seen this okay animal world see these pictures you all are aware of these animals and birds you might have seen them near your houses or at your homes and also at the zoo do you know these all animals can also express themselves like we humans as I told you before, they also communicate to each other and also they express themselves like we human beings. So today we will study the poem, I speak, I say, I talk, expressing sounds of animals and birds. Its first part, already we have discussed, already we have learned in first part. Let's see, before starting our next part, let's take a short recap of first stanza which we have learned in part 1. Let's read the first stanza. Cats purr, cats purr, lions roar, owls hoot, bears snore, cricket crick. Mice squeak, sheep purr, but I speak. Do you know what is purr? Purr is the sound of cat. Purr is the sound made by cat. What is roar? Roar is the sound made by lions. What is hoot? Hoot is the sound made by owls. Bears snore. What is snore? Snore is the sound made by bears while they were sleeping. Crickets creak. What is creak? Creak is the sound made by crickets. Mice squeak. What is squeak? Squeak. What is squeak? Squeak is the sound made by mice. Sheep ba. What is ba? Ba is the sound made by sheep. But I speak. So, dear children, who is I over here? Yes, who is I over here? I means we, human beings. These all are animals having different different sounds to express themselves they are expressing their sounds by themselves so but we are human beings we can express ourselves by speaking when we are communicate to others as all these animals are also express themselves like human beings by their voice and sounds so we have learned this tangent in a first part and we have recapitulated it now let's see the next tangent let's read next tangent of this poem yes monkeys chatter 
monkeys chatter cows moo cows moo ducks quack ducks quack doves coo doves coo pigs squeal pigs squeal horses neigh horses neigh chickens cluck chickens cluck but i say this is the second stanza of this poem where this all another animals sound as given here so tell me what is chatter what is chatter chatter is the sound made by monkeys chatter is the sound made by monkeys so chatter this is a sound of monkey cows moo what is moo moo is the sound made by cows moo is the sound made by cows quack what is quack quack is the sound made by ducks quack is the sound made by ducks coo what is coo coo is the sound made by doves Coo is the sound made by doves. Squill. What is squill? Squill is the sound made by pigs. Ne. What is ne? Ne is the sound made by horses. Cluck. What is cluck? Cluck is the sound made by chickens. But I say. So who is I over here, children? as i told you who is i over here i means we human beings we are expressing our feelings emotions and when we want to communicate to the others we speak we speak we say to each other to communicate each other so these all are the sound of these animals so this is a second part and rest of the last stanza we will discuss in our next class i hope you all are understood now this is your assignment for today this is your book exercise and everybody will write down in your notebook all these questions you will write in your notebook okay some words has been given here which are jumbled okay which are jumbled so what you will do you will rearrange the jumbled letters in the following words to find animal names these all are animal names okay so these are jumbled so you will be unjumbled these letters and make animal name so you will write this question in your notebook and solved it rest of the part we will take in our next class till then bye bye thank you and have a nice day